So, I've been doing a lot of videos recently with the Minnesota Vikings. It is a random fact. I don't know. We added today Prime Adrian Peterson to the 2024 Minnesota Vikings. And while the quarterback situation is going to get interesting, how well can Adrian Peterson work? Because back when he was with the Vikings in his prime, the quarterback situation was kind of a mess in um, Minnesota. So it's not like it's that much different than it is today utilizing, and let me fix the screen here. It's not like it's too much different than it is today, you know, with quarterback situation. All right, whatever. Words. English. Let's get it. Uh, week one, they played New York Giants, as I've talked about many times in these videos. The Vikings have an interesting schedule. It's, it starts off very tough. Kind of like, let's say very tough. It's like back and forth at the start, and then it gets a little bit easier throughout the season. So, they, the NFL definitely... Did not give them a freebie here. But they start off the season 2-0. Which is interesting. 3-0 um, now. Okay, this is actually quite interesting. I uh, was not expecting a 3-0 start. 4-0. Now they play the 1-3 Jets. Okay, this might actually work out pretty well. Okay, they lose to the Jets. Every franchise video I've done, they lose to the Jets. Bro, the Jets are the most broken meta in Madden franchise mode. Like, especially this upcoming year. This upcoming year, the Jets are the most broken meta. Alright. They beat the Detroit Lions. Now they play the 1-5 Rams in LA. They beat them. 6-1 and one now. They play the 3-5 and five Colts. So now they're in the kind of like easy part of their schedule. That's very winnable, and they could go on a tear, which they lose to the Jags. So that does not help out their um, situation right there. But they beat the Titans. Now they play seven and three Bears, and they beat the seven and three Bears. So so far, a pretty good year for the Viking squad. <laughs> not bad. I mean, they're gonna beat the Cardinals probably. Falcons are beat them. They might beat the Bears twice. Seahawks come up and down, but it's a very winnable schedule for the rest of the year. So the fact that they started off so well versus a lot of their tough teams spells a lot of volume to how they're going to end off this season. But let's just see how this ends. They beat the Cardinals. Okay. Now they play the Atlanta Falcons. They lose to the Falcons. Interesting. They play the Bears again. This is a very important game because... Them losing to the Bears now means they split with the season with the Bears. They could have potentially won the division. Not won it, but almost won the division right there if they would have won. They lose to the Seahawks, but the Bears also lose. So they're in that kind of weird period of time. They beat the Packers. The Bears also won. So this one is technically for the division. And they lose, but the Bears win. So they get the fifth seed. While the Bears get the, um, the division. Alright. Interesting. Not the season I expected, but listen. Without a quarterback really figured out, they did pretty dang well. And that's, uh, saying a lot more than I expected when it comes to a running back. Because usually running backs, I made a couple videos now with running backs, where it's like, I put a great running back on a team that's kind of mid, not the greatest. And they do somewhat okay like stat wise but they don't help out the team apparently they helped out the team 1300 yards 12 touchdowns and right now this team is one of the best in the league so i guess they know how to use prime ap which i guess is a very positive thing there um but other than that nothing too crazy to be honest i mean even like looking at it compared to the nfl Usually in Madden franchises, we have 17, 16, 1500 yard seasons. So a 1376 isn't really that insanely crazy. And it's not even that insanely crazy for touchdowns. So <clears throat> kind of interesting. Let's take a look though for wildcard playoffs. They played San Francisco 49ers again. First time they beat them. This time they lost 24 to 6. Yeah. 
See, that's that's when a quarterback really helps out is when you get to the playoffs. You can have a really good running back, but when you get to the playoffs, you're going to need a quarterback to figure things out. And, well, that's not really what they had. They didn't really have that quarterback position figured out. All right, so the Falcons beat the Ravens in the Super Bowl. 38 to 17, and yeah. So, Adrian Peterson didn't win any awards, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, he had a great season and he helped the team go 12 and 5. Oh, sorry, uh, 11 and 6. So, I guess that works out in the end. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys in the next one.